There's the three rings. What's going on guys, it's Ali. Welcome to the part 6 of 3D printed 8 scale Toyota Supra. So previously we worked on the steering wheel and the shocks and I had to put these links for adjusting the steering wheel but it was all temporary. But right now I had to upgrade the steering wheel with this one take some of the materials here and cut out these this one will be for the clutch uh, mounting but that one will be for the next video but right now we have the steering kit and i also upgrade these arms with the other one the old one i had to use one bearing over there and now with this one i can use two with two more supportive so not gonna be wobbly at the high speed all right for the links i had to order these different size linkages these are looking really cool and you can adjust the steering with these and it's much easier than the one i made because with this one you had to bring a stud with the same size and you had to cut it but with this one it's much easier and they look much cooler so in today's video we will be working on the steering wheel and mounting these new 3d printed parts and then we will test the steering angle i also ordered the set of rims with this one these grps are five millimeters smaller than the one i designed because i designed on this size 105 millimeter but this one is smaller i think 95 millimeter you can see that we can see the gaps between them it's smaller but with this one looks much better on the wheel well so we're gonna put this on but i have to redesign the rotors because with this car it's not electrical so we need a brake for this one and i had to order a set of caliper and rotors these are working ones so i have to design the hubs so we can put these on if you look at them they look really good the quality and the material looks really nice for the hub i have to redesign the hub so we can put these two screws in and secure it and for the rotor i have to redesign the hex the 12 millimeter for this side and for the wheel 17 millimeter so it will be like adapter so it holds this and holds the wheel as well this also will be for the next video for the shocks i had to order a set of 100 millimeter these one are 110 millimeter it's a bit longer than the one i wanted but i will put these on but with these ones the spring not that good maybe i will put these springs on because with these ones they're not going to be able to hold this weight of the car i'm sure it will be much heavier but these springs not going to hold it so i have to put these on and test out i ordered two more servos one for the clutch and the other one for the brake with these calipers so it can be pulled by a servo so it breaks so that's why we need one for the clutch and one for the brake and one of the most important parts of this build will be using arduino i haven't used arduino before but with this build i have to use it so with these servos they don't have any limitation if you turn the knob a bit more maybe it will break these brackets because it's pla and these are powerful they are 20 kilos so with this arduino it will put a limit you can say how many degrees it can rotate and then it stops even if you turn it on the controller it's not gonna push it down so it will be a safety reason also had to order these four millimeter shafts for the arms because right now i'm using a bolt temporary to hold the arms but with this one, it's going to be much easier even for you guys. You're just going to put them on. So it will hold the arms and then put the cap, the one I designed. So it's not going to come out. But another thing I changed with these uh, chassis, even if you don't change it, not going to be a problem. These shafts, the one from the upper arm, it's going to come out from this side. And the other one, it comes out the same from the back, like you can see from there. But if you have any crushes, if we break the lower arm you're not gonna have to disassemble all these things you can change it from the front so i swap the hole from the back to the front so with the upper arm you can change the shaft from back and the lower arm you can change the shaft from front the same thing i did with the back as well so if you change it it will be easier for maintenance but if you don't change the chassis it's not gonna be anything special but it's only for maintenance with this build i will be using fly skies controller 
this uh, 10 channel radio and the receiver so we will be using this one for this build because we have so many things to control i will also upload the files on my patreon and cults so if you have purchased this file you can download it for free pcb way offering cnc machining 3d printing sheet metal fabrication and injection molding you just have to put the file and choose the material and it will tell you the price and shipping days PCB Ways link will be in the video description box below for more information. Thanks for PCB Ways for sponsoring this video. Alright, now let's remove the old steering assembly and put the new one on. And then we will put these adjustable links and test that. Alright, it's all assembled. As you can see, I didn't put all the screws and bolts on. So it's temporary. I may change it. I don't know, maybe. But right now for the servo, I just put two screws. And for the mount, I will put maybe three, two bolts here and one for the back to support it. But we will test out if everything is correct. I will put the other screws on as well. Finally, we have something. The steering wheel working very good. I could adjust that. And right now we have a little play because I haven't screwed down this one over here, but I will do it later. But right now the steering angle is very good. So right now what I'm gonna do, these two wheels here, you already see in this one, but I will put this one on. So if you guys like it, I will use this one and if you don't I will stay using this one but overall I have to redesign the rotor for the caliber the one I'm using the working caliber so either way I have to redesign it but these two rims not only they are bigger but the offset is different so that's why I have to redesign the rotor but I'm gonna put it on and you guys can let me know if you like it or not but this is how it looks and yeah this is how it will be and with this one like you can see it's smaller with this one you can see the gaps between them so it's smaller and i will let you guys decide which one should i use let me know in a comment section below which rim should i use so right now I'm gonna put this on and I'm gonna lower the car so we can test the steering so we can see how much it turns. And with these washers it's temporary. After I figure out which trim I have to use I will make insert and we can put the nut easily so we don't have that problem anymore. Alright, for the steering I will consider a success because I think this will be the last design for the steering. Right now it's working perfect and I don't have any problem even if I'm pushing 
on the ground it doesn't rub anything and the servo is pretty powerful it's 30 kilograms so it's not gonna have any problem with rotating these wheels even though if i use this one it will be a bit bigger but not gonna be any problem with this one but for the next video i will be working on the clutch i already worked on the mounts for the clutch right now this is the servo mount and this is the clutch arm so for the next video we're gonna put them on and assemble the manual transmission which it will be here and then we will put a line drive line to the differential but this one will take some time so for the next video we will be working on the clutch and then after that maybe the brakes so let me know which one i should work first because after this one it will be the clutch and then which one you want the brake or the other things so just for testing i connected the wires with the receiver right now the servos and the steering is connected now we're gonna turn it on and test that there's the steering and here's right now each servo on one knob so that's why we need the arduino board so we can control all the servos with one knob but that's just i wanted to show you how it's working but the steering is very good i will be updating the links in the video description box below and also add the files and all these things the one i bought stay tuned for the part 7 which we will be working on the other things. All right, that's for this video. Hope you guys like the project and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.